What's up guys? I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do vignetting or create the vignetting effect on Adobe uh, Photoshop Elements and then transferring it to uh, Premiere Elements to put vignetting in your video because I know that Premiere doesn't have the, in the effects they don't have vignetting so you have to make your own so what you want to do is boot up Photoshop for those who don't know what vignetting is it's the darkening on the outer edges of your video or picture and that will create the focus to be more on the subject or in the middle alright so once you get that Photoshop open you want to make a new file you can name it whatever I'll just name it like that and you want the width to be 1920 by 1080 height pixels has to be pixels or else if it was any larger it'd be a really big file the resolution doesn't really matter just how clear you want it to be um, alright so once you do that you want white background create and what you want to do is go over here and do rectangular marquee tool and one second you want to have your layers up make a new layer that could just be black background doesn't matter what you want to do is do that highlight the whole background <coughs> the paint bucket and make it black mm. All right that's good now after that you want to go to uh, your marquee tool and do elliptical marquee depending on how big your vignetting is uh, depends on how big your elliptical is is so I'm gonna do a pretty big one like that I think that's around good so it doesn't have to be perfect if you want your vignetting to be a little bit higher or smaller you can make the elliptical bigger to cover less space um, I'm gonna do is enlarge it and I did that by Apple uh, or Control T, Apple T. Um, so that's good. So after you did that, apply. Um, you want to invert the highlighted zone so it highlights the outside by doing Control Shift I. So once you, um, yeah, Control Shift I. So now it's highlighting outside of the elliptical. You want to press delete and also I forgot to mention when you do the elliptical you want the feathering to be 150 pixels or it could be whatever you want but the higher feathering the more of like smooth vignette uh, look it has so after you do that you want to save as I'll just do test underscore vignette. You want to save it as a PNG. So save that. Um sorry. Then you want to press no interlace. So after you're done, you credit your vignetting. Now you want to go open up Photoshop Permanent Elements. And I'm just going to do open project. So, what the vignette actually does is just makes it black, a dark shade around the edges. That'll attract the viewer's attention on the subject or in the middle of the screen. You could, if you want, make a bigger vignette, and that will make it. 
very dark, but the subject will be the main focus. So after you're done, you want to go where you saved your uh, <clears throat> saved your vignette PNG. It's right there. I'm just going to use the test media um, media show all. Okay, so I'm just going to pick a random um, video. So I'm going to put that right there. So once you got your clip that you want, drag it down to your timeline. As you see, there's no vignetting on the outsides. So what you want to do with that clip, um, there's no vignetting. So you want to go to Edit, Effects, and you want to type in Image, Matte. Matty key and drag it over to your clip that you want to have in yet. Now this is what it looks like. You want to go to this little chart over here, set up, click that, go to libraries wherever you found wherever you saved um the vignette and I did the mine as test vignette. Open that. And as you see darker around the edges so yeah that's the vignette so that's what it looks like with vignetting as you can see the main focus is on the subject we'll see without it it's just kinda of plan so yeah that's how you uh, do the vignetting you, if you don't really know how to do or you don't have Photoshop, you can go over here. Go, I'll put up the link uh, in the description, but it's called martisiancron.nl and he gives pretty much the same tutorial as me and he provides a download right here. Where you could download his test or his, the vignette that he made, which is pretty soft. So, yeah, thanks uh, <coughs> for watching. I hope this helped. See you guys later.